just drop there, that'd be a perfect guy for Kansas City to get because he's he fast, tall, very athletic. He kind of reminds me of Ross. Mm -hmm. He kind of got the same similar build to Ross. Oh, you know, Jake, Ross can do I'm all that. Ross guys. did all that. But, sorry, guys, we had a little technical difficulties with getting to. I think it's back up and running now. So there it is. Yeah, you can check now. So there it is. So uh, all right, don't know what uh, happened. Yeah, <laughs> don't know what happened. That's the first time it happened to us on this show. So hey. We, good, know what guys. Hey, we keep we again, learn man. from mistakes, hey. sir. But knock, hey. knock on wood, knock on wood. Absolutely. Hey, 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 again, it doesn't matter. You know, we got we got it up there, guys. Thank you guys for going back over to uh mm. X. Thank you, Anonymous Mingo, for sending yes. people to the, to the right location mm -hmm. to um to see the show. Love uh, you guys, guys. man. Hey, love, hey, maybe, 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 it. maybe it's because we got Chiefs Foo on the show today. Maybe no that's, 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 what, that's well, what's happening. You know? I, I don't think that's it. So, 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 real quick, before a bowl got excited, before a bowl got excited, not, not, not a huge question I'm about that, hands. Come on, right, right, right. So, Everybody grabs the YouTube channel because they want to see you, uh, uh, see a Lou today. You know, he, he was in shorts and uh, uh, uh and uh, you know, too, so <laughs> let, let's go. Absolutely, go absolutely. So, listen though, again. Ross to me is a similar build, just like Mitchell. Similar build, like similar build. I see they got that in mm -hmm. Ross. We just went for Ross to get his time and get his time to shine. They got mm -hmm. that in Ross. So again, I'm not sold on getting a, a receiver in the first round because the Chiefs got some good receivers. They got good receivers. Mm -hmm. Tony's still on the roster. You still got Tony. So mm -hmm. they got the receivers. We just got to go. Know, the, Can tune, we the, the, the tune has changed after they won the Super Bowl and right. they haven't played any games because I can distinctly remember <laughs> leading towards the playoffs that the wide receivers were taking a lot of flack from the coach. Mm -hmm. that Absolutely. Yeah, that's why he's not on the team no more. <laughs> he could be, in the, he could be with the Chargers by the end of the weekend. <laughs> yeah, that's not, that's not even something to even think about because he – if he can produce a pass from Mahomes, they can produce for Herbert. So I'm not even like I ain't worried about that guy because he barely even the catch he made Nick was so, it, 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 he barely caught the ball it wasn't in full possession you know right. it's not like he like he was well they just did like, they did count they did count it as a catch and a first down and ended they, the game they, they so yeah, yeah, yeah okay yeah a little spark I mean yeah, a little seasoning on him but it was all right bottom again, line is just, bottom line is this picking at 32 and, and right. for us to sit here and figure out who they're going right. to pick and whatever it, it's almost impossible just because you don't know what's happening in front sure. uh you know as the draft starts to develop you'll start to see hey know. there's a run on this position if you got a bunch of tackles that go then some of these receivers come into play and then maybe he you know he can make a move maybe 10 spots up and and and, and try to get the guy that he wants if he really wants to go that direction or maybe the guy, you know, they're mm -hmm. kind of laying and wait for drops to them. So it's, you know, again, we can talk about, I love talking about it. Uh, but again, just to say, Hey, this is, this, they're going to go tackler. They're going to go wide receiver. You really can't make an absolute at this point. Right. You know, you really, you, you really, really can't. can't. It's a, it's a really tough can't. thing to do. Again, it's just a great position to be in because it doesn't matter. You, it, cliche it's boring best player available bottom right. line right 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 Man, me me looking at this the, the, the whole the, the draft order like ain't too many guys is like if you look at these teams man i i believe he's not gonna be there mitch ain't gonna be there for 32 he ain't gonna be there because me looking at the looking at the order in the draft the the team needs i don't see mitchell being there yeah no, we don't see him being no there. absolutely there not and that and, and that's just it so I guess we'll we'll see what happens that day, and uh, we'll we'll move forward. The Kansas City Chiefs going to jump Buffalo once again, so AD Mitchell will be there in the spot. I don't know. Yeah. I know we, still, we, still, we, still, we still got the Eagles. We still got the Eagles. Got the Saints. You know, we still got the team that can really utilize this this people Mitchell. So they still wow. got that going too. So we don't know yet for sure. All right, all right, all right, all right. Nick, Nick, get ready. Get in some of these comments. Yeah, let's get into him. Um, okay. Uh, 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 Mr. Uh, who is that? I'm going blank here. Anyway, Rasheed Rice, Mitchell, 80 Mitchell, 32. Rasheed Rasheed's listening to the show. Let's go. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Kingsley Sua Taya at 52 to trade with the Rams. Uh, Namus Mango um, said the same thing. Um, 
you know, uh, is Mitchell going to be there 32? I think we've discussed wow, did, that. Did, did somebody publish something or a posit a trade? I don't know. Like to, to, both you guys, two, both two you guys both. mentioned a trade to 52. That seems awfully random. <laughs> yeah. Random. Both, yeah. Mango man uh, had the other one too. So, I mean, it, it, it's like, you know, we don't know at this point what, what they're going to do. I mean, it's, it's, it's crazy. They've just got a lot of options. Um, See Blake. Uh, I'm going to say Banks. yes to that one. Okay. Okay. I'm going to say yes. yes. <laughs> uh, this is a good question by Blake. Are you guys surprised that Mike Dana is the first street first beach draft pick to get a contract extension? And which one do you believe is next? Creed Humphrey, Nick Bolton, and Trey Smith, as I believe two or three get extended before the season begins. I I uh, agree with I you, Blake. Creed. I say Creed, man. I think it's going to be Bolton and Smith are the two most valuable. I think. Ooh, you got you got spit over Creek every day of the week, and then some. Oh, he's the, I don't he's know. their best offensive lineman by far. He's the best. Well, I don't. I don't know. I, I I I like Creed's game. I think again, you you could view him. I mentioned it maybe a week ago that if they end up moving on from Tooney mm -hmm. and they slide Creed over yep. to that spot, they bring in a new center. And then maybe then you extend, you know, Smith and Creed. And, you know, you can't you can't extend everybody in terms of a surprise. I'm not surprised that there's only been one. A little surprise it was Mike Dana. But in terms of the situation, mm -hmm. it was a good one because he probably didn't have that big of a market. They didn't overspend for him. And it's not really, you know, you're gonna you're gonna see this moving forward in turn. If you're gonna have the big ticket quarterback and your pass rusher, in this case, is defensive tackle, not a defensive end, and Chris Jones and some of the other contracts that they have, it's gonna be a revolving door. You know, it's hard because mm -hmm. you get invested in these guys as a fan and yeah. draft and develop. You think it's great, okay? Mm -hmm. Let let's do that. But then if you do really well drafting and developing, you can't keep them all because no, they're, you, because exactly. their market their market value is going to be at such a great rate. So you yeah. hope maybe you're able to trade some of them and get something back. But uh, to answer your um, question, I would say not so much uh, not so much in terms of uh, being surprised. And I would think whoever whoever signs the best deal first. <laughs> you know, right. insert name here, but I think they like all three of those guys, but more so I think on Nick's behalf, the, the offensive tack, the offensive lineman will be more valuable than the uh, middle linebacker for sure. Yeah. He'll get, he'll, he'll, he'll get a nice, con he'll get a nice con Dan will get a but, nice contract that won't which, break the which, bank. Which you know what though, Nick, real quick, going back to the, the discussion mm -hmm. with, with Smith and uh Creed Hump, you can't find another good center like Creed Hump. You're not gonna be able to find that for real. He knows well, the system. He got in Mahomes, Mahomes got him and Mahomes got a bond. You're not gonna find it. You can find a mauler like Trey Smith out there. You can find that, but you can't find no. another captain on that line. Like well, Creed Hump he had a decent he, he, he had a horrible season like th this year or last year. But you know, dealing, dealing, dealing with his hiking ability. But he's at the same the, time, but at the same time, you gotta understand. He, if he not, if not for the, Kelsey, he's, he's the best set. He's the best center in the league. Right. Yeah. I. I. But you can find center. I mean, they'll they've done it in the past, and I think that that's why I said that was because they've moved off of really good centers in the past. Yeah. Rodney Hud Rodney Hudson, your team right. signed him as a free agent. Yeah, we well, did. We he did would have over. signed with the Chiefs as he had, if he wasn't traded, but nonetheless. Mitch Mitch, Mitch Morse, you yeah, know, okay. for the, the, it starts for Buffalo. So again, <clears throat> in the the way they play, the, the way they, they run the ball, the way they, they, they call their offense, I think center would be e easily replaceable. <clears throat> and if they really like Creed, he could play guard and that maybe he wouldn't yeah. cost as much as Joe Tooney. Yeah, and I think that's the thing if they move him. And then Anonymous Mango, I mean, he and I agree. Dominic Pooney, I think, is a starting center right now in the NFL. Um, you know, he's going to be a first-round guy. Um, you know, if he falls to 32 and the, and the Chiefs don't have a left tackle, again, put Pooney outside, put Humphreys at uh, guard. Um, you can even put Pooney at guard, I think. I don't know. I've been reading a lot and looking at a lot of things. Uh, Anonymous, can you fill us in on Dominic Pooney? 
Where, who did he from, play? Who did he play Duke. for? I think he's from Duke. Ah, uh, like Graham he's Barton's a first round Walk, pick Walk. from them. Right, he said Trey walks next off season because we are drafting Dominic Pooney this draft. So Trey, so again, Who is Do- no, I'm sorry, Pooney. I'm sorry, sorry. Dominic Pooney is from KU. My bad, my bad, my bad. From Kansas. Okay. From Kansas. Yeah, yeah. He's, haven't not heard a, it. he's not a first round guy. I haven't heard his name mentioned. Sorry, once, my bad, but, my bad, that's, my bad. I was getting mixed on, up with someone me. else. That's on me. <laughs> no, I, I I got it mixed up with someone else. My apologies. You know, Pooney is a is a really good athlete. Played at KU. Uh, was was just. KU had an incredible offensive line last year, um, and uh, he's a guy who uh, has uh, met with the Chiefs. Um, he is someone who I think could be a third, third round, fourth round guy. He's technically a guard, could play center, has a lot of athleticism, and I, I think he makes he, he he's at a minimum a really great depth for the Chiefs. But to kind of go back to what you're saying, Lou, I I don't disagree with Humphreys. Um, value to the team, and he's, he's he's a top three or four center in the NFL. I'm still concerned about the snapping issues. That's a big red flag for me. And I think that the offensive line is kind of, you know, they've got four guys locked in, but the most important is left tackle. And, you know, if they have to put Thune out there to left tackle, as I said earlier, which he could do it for a year, he's getting left tackle money. This is the last year in Kansas City, no matter what. Um, so I think that that's probably not a bad decision to bring in another guy at center or bring in another guard. You know, Pooney would be a terrific fit. I think he could start right away at the NFL level and be a, you know, third round pick. So you, um, mentioned, you mentioned Duke and Graham Barton is a guy. Graham Barton, that that's who I was getting confused with. If he, if he's in the area, now that could be an interesting one. Because that's what that I was kid, talking about. That right. kid, that kid plays all five or has played all five. Yeah. smart enough so he can you know he can play center he can play tackle he can play you know the guard either guard position so you know if you're looking at potential guys that 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 slip yeah. and would fit into that 25 to 32 range Graham Barton from Duke you know could be could be a fit yeah he played center most of last year if I'm not mistaken mm-hmm. um so I think that definitely is a that's definitely a big plus uh you know I the think, Chiefs yeah. like them versatile offensive linemen he has the hands. He has the he wingspan does. that Andy wants. Go ahead. Who's next? No, I'm waiting. Listen, though. I'm waiting. When I'm doing the graphic, when I'm doing the visual okay. graphics, it's usually my, my point's been made. Oh, okay, I got <laughs> you. So, so listen, though. Again, with Humphreys, to me, Humphreys is mm. right behind – Kelsey is the one that is, is the best in he and then his smarts is unmatched. Like he's ranked fourth this year behind like he ranked fourth in center. Like if you look at Trey Smith, he's 10, but if you look at his overall play, it, it wasn't good. Oh, please. It wasn't good at all. No, uh, I see, I see. he's right. I, I Listen though, me, me I going see. back and looking at me going back looking at the stats, he wasn't that good. I mean, he was okay. He had, but he, 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 he had he had a few hiccups, but all five of those guys did at one point this year. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Humphrey, Every one of them. But, for, but from, the, from the point from the point of his career since day one as a starter, and that day one was OTAs. That's how quickly in minicamp, that's how quickly he got involved, you know, in lining up. And I, I think he's just – he's a mauler. He's going to be the hardest to get – hardest to sign. He's going to make the most money of the, of, the, of the three guys that Blake mentioned. And I think he's the most important now. Humphreys, again, still important. But, you know, Veach has got to make some decisions. Now, fortunately, they're going to be in pretty terrific cap space next year. They cut Thune, then that pretty much solves, you know, being able to probably sign both those guys. I don't think Bolton's going to get the money that Bolton thinks he's going to get or what the value is because he's really a – I think he's a fit piece. You know, he works well with others. He makes plays. But I think he's the. I think his um, greatness in the NFL to date is the fact that he's in a Steve Spagnuolo system that utilizes his skill set, like they used with Willie Gay. Willie Gay played what 20, 25 percent of the snaps. He was a situational linebacker. Bolton can do more now. The Tranquil's there. You know, he and Chanel and and, and Tranquil. That's a heck of a. That's a heck of a trio. Of linebackers, and I'm very excited to see what these guys can do. Knock on wood, they stay healthy. But you know, Beach was worried about this draft class because it was so good that you know he's got three viable starters that are all going to demand big bucks, and 
and it'll be up to him to to, to put it together. But what we've seen this offseason with Veach, though, you know, he's kept the core together. I mean, they they have a replacement for for Willie Gay. That's why they they've re-signed Drew Tranquil. You know, they've got a replacement for Snead. Um, you know, they've got a lot of guys in house who can who can who can who can play that position, rotate. They're going to be fine there. Uh, uh, Nick Wright says they're going to draft a cornerback in round one. Wouldn't shock me either. The kid from Iowa State is there. I was there. You know, Dijon. You, you, yeah, Dijon. You bring him. You bring him on the roster and plug and play right away. He's good to go for the next. Ah, uh, it's TJ Temple. If you go to go any in the draft, it's going to either be one, one. either one. <laughs> but again, but again, that, yeah. but again, uh, like some of the some of the comments they they was back at, back on the AD Mitchell thing. Um, a lot of people saying that the Chiefs should, you know, uh, Lamar. Read that one right there, uh, Nick. Go ahead. Uh, Chiefs will end up with either Mitchell, Franklin, and McConkey, Worthy or Polk at wide receiver, according to Anonymous Mango. Well, yeah, okay, yeah, we agree with you. Uh, in in the, in the first two rounds, those are those are probably you know, one of those guys is probably potentially going to be a chief. I mean, the bottom line is they're 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 going wide receiver with the first or the second pick. I don't think there's any question. Uh, you know, Franklin is highly mentioned and highly praised. Um, I like Franklin. I do like Franklin. And, it, and it's it's likely he's going to be there at the end of the second round. So mm-hmm. there's a good chance he could he could fall to, to being a, uh, a chief. But and I don't I know mean, why, why he would fall. Franklin, I, it's if just it the size. In, 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 uh, 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 Doomsday or those guys, he probably would be the best wide receiver because he did have a, a heck of a year. Uh, you know what I mean? And, and, and he, uh, he can beat the only person in this draft that I've seen that beat man and zone and always, always like besides Brandon Rice, he always will find a way to get open. So if, if, that, if that would be a great day, he's a, he, he's a second behind Brandon Rice for me. Let me ask you, that, let me ask you a question. If you look at the tape of him and Sky Moore, what do you see? I see virtually the same guy. Man, get out of here, Nick. Nah, Franklin, hey, Frank, Franklin, 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 <laughs> Franklin's, Franklin's probably about four or five inches taller. I think he's, mm-hmm. I mean, he played at a, at a higher level in college. Mm-hmm. And I think he's definitely athletically ahead of Sky. Uh, and it may be, maybe he can play on the outside more so. The only, so, well, well, the only well, knock well, against, well, the only well, knock well, against well, Franklin. I'm just messing with you. Oh, okay. no, I, only, I know Nick was. Hey, hey, I, I know Nick was. I said the, the, the only, the only no, knock against Franklin is his weight, right? I mean, he's tall, but he's like 175 pounds. Hey, it's, hey. It's, a simil- it's similar to Xavier Worthy. But the guy hey, always Blake, get hey, Blake, now nah, Blake, Blake, Blake Bammer said, hey, Xavier Leggett. Xavier, and no, nobody talking about Xavier Leggett. He's the guy. He's the guy that draft. Yeah, if, about if, if, he, if he do, if he is there, man, hey, that would be. Nasty. Y'all take Jerry Leggett. I say yeah, y'all take that, Jerry Leggett at thirty two. I'm sold. That's DK Metcalf all over again. If that happens, if that happens for the Chiefs. That's DK. That, 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 hey, Drake. If that happen, if that happened for the Chiefs, everybody else might as well just wrap it up. <laughs> Wrap it up because it's, y'all it's get done. Jerry Leggett, bro. I said y'all have complete <laughs> y'all offense, sir. It's been completed. <laughs> Cause ain't no way, bro. Is there like this a stud, man? A bona fide mm-hmm. stud. As, as speaking of a, a, a bona fide stud, we have a bona fide guy to get your mortgage when your house is if you on the edge. You tired of paying rent? You tired of doing everything you want? You know by yourself? And you on the edge of your seat? You have Dave mm. Purdy. Go ahead, uh, Nick. Go ahead. All right, let's talk about my uh, my good friend, <clears throat> Mr. Dave Purdy with Edge Home Finance. That's his new company. Uh, Dave is uh, one of my best friends and also the guy that uh, managed to get me a loan for our house. It wasn't easy because I'm self-employed. You've heard me talk about it on the show. Whether you're 1099 or W-2, you have to make sure you know you got to have somebody who understands underwriting guidelines, understands the difference between self-employed and W-2, knows how that works, how it's viewed, what you have to put together, how you have to prepare your taxes. All these things now go into getting a mortgage. And uh, it's a lot different, as I mentioned with Eric, you know, it's not the way it used to be. So you got to find an expert. You got to find someone who's going to wade you through all the money waters and come out clean on the other end and say, hey, we got it done, which is what he's done for me. So uh, I, I, I trust Dave completely. Give him a call at 816-405-5831. And if you're just looking 
to just get a, a checkup. Just give him a call, 816-405-5831. Let him take care of you like he's taking care of my family. We all love Dave around here because he is per pretty good. 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 Speaking, of somebody, speaking of somebody who's pretty good, it's a guy that's, uh, you know, Marvin Harrison Jr. that's coming out this draft. If, if, you, if, if you look at it, they they saying that he's the best prospect prospect that's coming out this draft. Now, if if he is the best prospect that's coming out this draft, mm -hmm. besides Caleb Williams, they even said it over Caleb Williams. Now, you know who's the best prospect at, at receiver at, besides him that you ever seen that that's probably in this draft. You know me besides Marvin Harrison Jr. because he had the height, he has the weight, he has the hands, he has the route ability. But Everything the guy, you need. Go ahead, go ahead and take the question, Dre. What you think? Everything you need is in Marvin Harrison. Guys, when I tell you I research 24-7 on this guy, this guy has everything you want in the receiver. He's well-rounded. Mm. His father is Marvin Harrison Sr. Like, he, he practiced with the great Peyton Manning. That man is him. But if you look at the tape, the tape and the competition, he dominates the competition. You can go mm -hmm. to Marvin Harrison. When we talk about receivers, like we talked about the Mitchells earlier in the show, he doesn't have that gene like Marvin Harrison got. You can count on him. He's going to make the play in tight coverage, zone coverage, play breaks down. He's right there. I mean, the man, and the man is humble, but he has the whole package. But Xavier Leggett, to me, besides Marvin, I got Xavier Leggett. Those are two, to me, are the most dominant receivers coming out to the draft right now. Mm -hmm. Xavier Leggett. And, it, it, and it's interesting that both of them, and you know, Trevor Sigma is uh, one of my good friends, you know, is scouted right. him and believes in him very, 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 very much. And I think he'll end up being an Arizona Cardinal when it's all said and done. Um, but, you know, you're right. I mean, he's, he's, he's a can't miss project. There's, there's, no, we ain't there's, hear from him again. there's no way that, uh, you know, he's, he's going to get out of the top five. Um, right. You know, again, Leggett is, is, He's a hot topic right now, but he's all over the first round, top of the second round. You just don't know. And, and the thing is, you know, just like quarterbacks, wide receivers, there's beauty in the eye of the beholder. And we just saw what happened a year ago in Kansas City where, what, four or five wide receivers went uh, went all in a row. And that changed mm -hmm. the complexity of what the Chiefs were going to do um, at the end of the round because they wanted one of those wide receivers. And right. uh, they they whiffed on uh, passing on the uh, – on the Lions' choice for tight end, which I think would have been a terrific fit for Kansas City. Um, but at the end of the day, Harrison's the best wide receiver. Now, is he the best player in this draft? Um, no. I think I think Joe Ald is the best player in this draft. Yeah, I, um, I agree with you 100%. Joe Ald there's, is there's nobody NFL start ready, 15-year career, lock Hall of Famer. Uh, there is nothing else in the first round that I would say would – tell me otherwise for this kid um he's got the legacy from his father long time john old played for the kansas city chiefs this guy has he's a he's a 10 across every board and even if i'm the chiefs would i give up a first round pick this year or next year in a three and a four to move up for alt i would do it in a heartbeat because then patrick Mahomes can retire knowing that he's got a stud left tackle to protect him for the rest of his career in kansas mm -hmm. city and to me that's worth a couple of future first round picks. If he falls to nine or 10 and he's still on the board, you, you, you got to make the, you got to do whatever it takes to move up. I'm if you got to give you. up three number ones, it's worth it. You're going to be drafted late in the rounds. You got cap space. And th that to me, he's the best player in this draft. And it's, and it's not close. I think we need to uh, introduce kind of Blake Bams <laughs> or Bamis to Bams. Uh, hence Todd. <laughs> Evidently, <laughs> he's he's not been listening to hence. And all right, uh, yeah. All, all right, Blake. Blake, Blake, Blake says, what do you say? What do you say? I, I'm not Jerry, looking at this. What Jerry what Rice's say? son, um, Braden Rice, wide receiver, US, USC, could be overlooked prospect. He learned not from here. his daddy, who's considered the greatest wide receiver to ever play, Jerry Rice. And yes, Blake, we have talked about him quite a bit. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Mr. Hens Todd. Maybe, you know, maybe, maybe that's me. Maybe I'm show, Blake. show him maybe your I'm show him your, your 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 Brendan Rice uh, uh maybe, graphic. But I, I'll tell you, Brendan Rice, Brendan Rice again. Hey, hey, finally I got somebody on the same bandwagon. It's me. You know what I mean? Somebody <laughs> finally agree. We have not <laughs> talked about Brandon Rice enough today, Blake. Today, thank no. you very much. 
<laughs> Thank God. But again, but again, guys, Brendan Rice is, is, is everybody else is finally coming around to see. Hey, hey, he actually followed me on Instagram last night. I said, Oh, you know what I mean? I said, I, I've been talking about the kid so much. He gave me a follow back. But again, again, Brandon Rice, hey, as again, he's a senior, you know, class. He's, he's 6'3, 210 pounds, physical mm-hmm. receiver, best route runner you're going to see in this goddamn draft. If the kid wasn't, if the kid didn't, you know, he, he started off late. He got, you know, I mean, he started off late getting his um his yardage in the, in the college. But again, the kid is always open. Mm-hmm. He's always open, no matter what. And he's a best, he's a best receiver for quarterbacks that's on the scramble, that's on a run. And he he just don't go run his route. He don't just run his route. He runs to get open. He say, hey, he mm-hmm. ran his route and he looks and say, where's where's right. where's my quarterback? Where can it? Where is he in trouble? So if, if so he's if not one to, so he's not one to follow structure or be where he's supposed to be when he's supposed to be there. Is that what you're saying, yes. hence? Yeah, he's a Travis Kelsey. <laughs> he's a Travis Kelsey. He's gonna make Kelsey. his own he's gonna make his own wraps up, huh? Basically, what we just saying right. is gonna make his you own gotta wraps be, up. You, got, you gotta be in the league five or six or seven years and like have like outstanding production to even be in that class. Yeah, well, he's used to scramat scrambling quarterback, so yeah, you know, he, he's definitely got that All on right. his on his resume. So, did Travis Kelsey do the same thing? It took Travis some time. It took yeah, Travis a few yeah. years. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You but know, hey, injured year good. one, and then he did it with Alex Smith, which was relatively simple. Yeah. And then Patrick comes along. Then it's completely it be, different, and those two hit it off right away when they, when he it, became the full time starter. And, Real, yeah, honestly, yeah. If real talk, if Brandon Rice does drop, let's say he does drop to uh to thirty to the second right? round. If he goes to the second round, then- no, 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 no. I'm talking about if Worthy, if Mitchell's gone and Brandon Rice is right there, do the Chiefs go tackle offensive line or do they go Brandon Rice at thirty two? They take him in the first line. If they take him at thirty two, guys, hey, hey, you probably see me jump through the screen. You're like, howdy, it's gonna be like the back of the cartoon days. I'm going well, through the so, wall. So, 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 the real question is, I'm gonna ask you, Mr. Bowtie. You'll so be his new you taking agent. Mitchell? You taking Mitchell? Or you taking Rice? Everybody know. I, everybody know I'm going on this show. Yeah, that's <laughs> so, tough. That's a tough so, one. No, no, no. I'm asking though, Mitchell or Rice? I'm going bread and rice. I'm going bread and rice. I say I feel like he's the best receiver in this draft. That's his guy. He's not. He's not. He's not wavering. Stick to your guns, hands. Stick to your guns. Who you taking on, right? I mean, who am I taking? Did did you not see the last little part? Hey, 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 pop that up there for me. I know. I know. He's gonna say it. We, we, haven't, we haven't seen enough of those two graphics. Please put them back I'll up. Pull it up there, man. This is probably up there for me. Man. I ain't got to really say too much, man. He said, I got to say too much. This, this is the best guy that's coming out this draft, they say, so far. They say this is the best guy that's coming because, out this draft. But if, well, you get to that. pick. You're a oh, Cardinals yeah. fan. You're you're going to get you're gonna get him. And oh, we're going to uh, most definitely going to get him. I'm it's just, just a matter if your quarterback, if your quarterback can get him the ball or not. That's the question. And that depends <laughs> on a lot we have. But see, now we're a run first team now. So he's going to have be a tremendous addition to what we do. But so again, I hope he's great. Sneaky Patriots, you never know. Uh-huh. But I'm forgetting. Right. I, I feel, now, I feel Lou, like I'm, if that happens, like Lou, draft, that's gonna change everything. Yeah. I feel like the draft is gonna start there at four anyway. Um, and, and it, it depends on what the Cardinals do. Because you got the Raiders needing a quarterback, you got the Broncos needing a quarterback. It's a lot of teams that are gonna want to jump up there. That's what I'm four. saying. That's right. Uh, right. That's that, what I'm saying. It's gonna need, need a quarterback and and well the Patriots pick coach, third, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. They're gonna and fleece. Austin, Austin, they're gonna Austin, fleece the Raiders. Austin they're Ford gonna already fle- said they're open yeah. for business. They're gonna fleece the Raiders mm-hmm. uh, when it's all said and done. The Patriots are at three, mm-hmm. and they'll trade him to. The, they'll trade him for a 2025 first round pick and the swap of the ones and a number three this year. And the Raiders will pay it in our feet mm-hmm. to go after. And they'll and they'll draft Mayo and they'll be a joke. Well, actually, I mean, if that's the guy, if that's the guy they want, that really wouldn't be that huge of a price to pay. I mean, if they think he's their franchise guy, to just you know another an additional first and a third, I think that you got to make that deal. If you're the Raiders, I don't know, I don't know if I don't know if any of those teams at the top they probably want more. Yeah, but you're only talking about moving a few spots. 
Yeah, Finks is out there too. Michael Michael Finks is out there too now. Finks is out there too. We ain't talking about Finks, man. He's he's the more polished quarterback in the pocket too. He's very polished. He's very but, polished too. Now we're not talking a lot about uh, Finks now. Hey, you but, keep but making again, up guys. names. You're confusing our fans. What, well, who? we know Mike from okay, the Washington Huskies, man. Michael the Penix. Yes, Penix. Michael Penix. 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 Yes. Penix. Yes. There you I go. I call him well Penix Penix Penix. Penix. No, never mind. <laughs> hey, but he again. is a stud. He is a stud in the pocket, though, because he can deliver, Lou. He can yeah, deliver he, on the I on like the him. big stage. On the big I stage. Like he had two, three, yeah. that's what, three studs. But, yeah, almost almost over a thousand. Almost. Maybe 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 it's, maybe it's a joke on all of us. We all here talking about wide receiver. We this and this and that. And the Chiefs like, hey, we got the wide receiver that slash running back. This you know we picked up. A lot of people ain't talking about the young guy. That all the ladies gonna love. You know we got the slip Absolutely. back. There, you creed. know. Creed. But again, but, but again, if if he does turn into a stud. He's over here eating barbecue, enjoying mm-hmm. it with Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey. Now, you never know. You never know. He probably comes out and we think, oh, we need to resolve it. We say, oh, we forgot about the young guy, the ladies man. Hey, so uh, uh, Harrison right. Bunker got to run for his money with the ladies because this guy's coming in. And I don't got think the Harrison's too worried there. about that. He no. got the Harrison's a, the ladies oh, love it. Harrison's a married oh, wow. man. Let's not start any rumors. Yeah, let's not start any rumors <laughs> no, here. That's, no, not, no, that's no, not our no, job no, here. So yeah, let's know. Right. What, would you, what would you put the young man in the middle? Beside him eating barbecue, what kind of player is he? We have no idea, dude. No, I mean, he's never played football. We don't know. <laughs> I, mean, we, right. we don't know. I, I would say, I would say right. this. Somebody sent me like a 22-minute video right. of his highlights showing – the good and the bad and mostly it was like 75 80 percent good and i watched it and i look at him and i think okay he's got a a, a ton of athleticism right. he has really good speed and yeah he's got to put some pads on but at that position the pad weight isn't all that great um it shouldn't be a problem for him the hardest thing is can he do all that thing with a helmet on his head i mean you know, he's looking to have a 360 peripheral vision you know, his vision is going to be a little restricted. Um, he's certainly tough enough. He, he's gotten hit plenty. He can definitely deliver a blow. Uh, he, his side-to-side footwork, to be honest with you, is really impressive. If you, just, if you, if you break down the, his film and you look at some of these videos that have been put together, it's like, oh, wow. You know, he can cut back and he, can, he, he, he certainly knows how to, to move laterally. He's going to be great on the pitch. Um, he's going to be good on an end around. Um, there are a lot of really things I think he could do. He's going to be good in special teams, uh, even if he's out there tackling. I mean, listen, I, I think this is a, a wild card. I think the Chiefs have no downside to this. They've got him locked up for three years. He doesn't count on the 53 at the moment. Uh, he doesn't even count on the practice squad because he's an international signing. But from the videos that I've seen, and there there have been – there's probably been 20, 25 people who have reached out to me or posted messages on YouTube talking about this kid. And they all kind of have the same common thread. He's an athletic freak. And, you know, pretty much they think he can make a some sort of impact with the Chiefs. But how much? You know, as Andre said, we don't know. And we don't know. But mm-hmm. I, I agree with Hens, man. He's going to be one of the most popular players in OTAs, mini camps, training camps. When the fans get out there, they're going to love this kid. And uh, I don't even think he's talked to the media yet, has he? He hasn't done a press conference with the local media yet. I would assume they're going to they're going to do it at some point. But you know, maybe they wait to OTAs or mini camps to do that. But uh, he'll be here for all that, so it, it'll be exciting to watch. His accent, and his smile. You know, what I mean, the, the, the ladies are always going to be over. It. So it's oh, going to bring. Yeah. But it doesn't translate to the field now. No, I get off the Hoover. Wait till he's on the Kelsey podcast. You know it's coming. A lot, lot to work, <laughs> lot to work with there. Lot to work. You know, with. Lot, maybe he is a project stud. I say that he's a man, project. One, one project stud is that the Philadelphia Eagles left tackle. Um, I keep on forgetting his name. He, he came out. Uh, What's his name? Luke. The guy. Jordan Milata. Yeah. yeah Milata. He, he, he turned out to be he turned out to be a stud, so maybe you know maybe it happened. But what, what we do got to know what's going to happen, guys. We got you know the Chiefs who 
today, correct? So let's let's go ahead strike and up uh, the band, heads. Come on, strike up the band. For two in a row. Let's go, man. Going for two in a row. Here we go. All right. For those Game of you pop. listeners that are new to the show, this is Chief Who. And the reason it's Chief Who is that I'll read off a bunch of really cryptic clues. I mean, I'm, I'm getting pretty nutty with this. I, I have to kind of rein, rein myself in a bit. But uh, I'll read off the clues. If you know who it is, you know, try to keep it as honest as possible. Don't, don't use Google or anything like that. Let's see who really gets, gets the right answer. Uh, so I'll start reading the clues. If you've got a guess, go ahead and put it in the comments. Uh, the guys in the booth here will do the same, uh, except they'll just yell them out. So here so, we go. Before you do it, before you do it, what's, what's the prize is on the line? Uh, they will get something that, that from Heath, my that Heath Ledger principles. that Heath Ledger picture. I think. Yeah, is oh, they want, they want, they want, they want that one. <laughs> oh, okay, oh. We'll, that, that's the prize. I, I, I make did, sure we got a guy that makes them. So we, I we, did we, not. I, I did not see Chucky in the background. I we think did. Chucky we just, should, uh, I, there I, we go. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm not sure about hints now. It's starting what a little What the this house of horrors you got going there, man? What? You got a you got a Freddy Krueger back there too. Yeah, Dude. I, I, finally, I finally got to fix up my background. Oh, there was a Freddy Krueger. What, what do you know? I got all three of them. <laughs> all right. Okay. This guy was a four-star recruit. Yeah, okay. Number two. At the age of 18, this is pretty wild, he foiled an attempted armed robbery in which uh, the assailant uh, uh, didn't make it. Uh, uh, um, he rolled an arch rival in his final season in college. Is it Williams? It is not. He saved his best for first. He really loves his chips. While in the NFL, he's really learning to take care of himself. God dang it, Lou! You stunned all of us today, man. Is, man, I'm still here. Like, right, so Kareem, 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 Kareem. Kareem. Trey Smith, Cream. He he also, uh, I think last week was the same. Uh, he also played college ball in his hometown. George Galas. Nope. You may see him rocked up, sporting his nickname. Anonymous Mango said Clyde. He said Clyde. Anonymous Mango from way downtown. Yes, it's Clyde yeah, Edwards. That was, good, that was a good one. Hey, good job, Mango, because I was so stumped. He and his buddy were selling a stereo to a guy. The guy pulls a gun. That Somehow they got That's it away right. from him and killed the dude. It was a pretty crazy story. Uh, he rolled. So he against Alabama, he rolled. I don't know. He had like four touchdowns. It was, it was ridiculous. But huge game against Alabama. Four four touchdowns. They won 46 41. Uh, where am I at here? Uh, best for first. His first game, opening game against Houston. 138 yards rushing, one TD. Uh, loves chips. Won the Natty at LSU and two Super Bowls. Uh, he is uh, going to nursing school, learning to take care of himself. He is from Baton Rouge or the Red Stick. Baton Rouge. Nice. Uh, rocked up, I, I, I believe, at a certain point, he did get himself a diamond necklace with the glide on it after his first game, I believe it was. And then the last crew, clue that didn't come up, he was deemed Minitron. After the leaping TD catch in That's New right. England. That's so, right. That's there right. There you have it, gang. Clyde Edwards Hilaire. He was eligible for Chief Who once he signed his new contract. So we jumped on that. He was eligible. He made it. And Anonymous Mango, congratulations. Uh, Anonymous uh, Mango, congratulations. And guess what, Anonymous Mango? <laughs> You're not going to be anonymous no more because we're going to need your address. <laughs> Whoa, that's say. right. Yeah. 
Yeah, we will see you message me your address. <laughs> your secret, he, your said, secret. he said, Will, I just won. I don't care about it. Just let me win. I'm cool. He said, your, <laughs> sec- your secret <laughs> is safe with us. <laughs> yeah. Matt you are not, <laughs> not anonymous no more. <laughs> That's anonymous. Matt Derrick every day of the week. <laughs> <laughs> but again, and again. <laughs> I, it, it dawned on me. I said, oh, he won, huh? You're not a novelist no more, sir. <laughs> so with that said, man, that was uh, Chiefs who's sponsored by uh, uh, Nick Haynes, I mean, Eric Haynes. Eric Haynes. Uh, Let's give him his due. Eric Haynes. But again, again, guys, <clears throat> again, guys, it, it, it's been a, it's been an amazing show. Every, we, we had a, we had a little technical difficulties. Up here. Yeah. A few we things went off good. today, but we're, we're good. You know what I mean? So we, we you know, everything's gonna, <laughs> yeah. You, you know, now this may go, now you got to give up the information. He, he, if you want this guy right he, here, right. you want that guy right there, you got to give up your information. If you don't, if you don't want him, Nick got a gift for you. Uh, we'll figure it out. Good. It's all we'll good. Figure it out. But hey, we got, I, got a, I got a guy that makes these pictures, guys. So <clears> we're <we'll> making, <throat> making this a part of the gift, uh, also. So amazing. So let's go. Yeah. Hey, also shout ahead. out to Kareem. If you're listening, which I know you are, go to your local post office to try to find your package. I've given up. It's sitting there in a barrel somewhere. Uh, your winnings from a, from a month ago. So uh, now we'll run up to the post office today with that uh, ID number I sent you. you Got to find, find, find a new horse. <clears throat> find a new horse, baby. Yeah. U.S. Postal Service in Utah is not a winner. Hello. So with that said, let, let's go to get into our uh, sponsors, uh, Nick, before we close. All right. right. Speaking of winners, first, my good friend, Mr. Eric Haynes with the Eric Haynes Group. He is your trusted real estate advisor, part of the SunWest real estate advising team. If you're looking for someone who's going to walk you through the process of finding a house, closing a house, and getting your keys, you need someone who can navigate you through all the wicked paperwork and all the disclosures you have to sign and all the changes and all the amendments, you need a guy who understands how that all works. Give Eric Haynes a call at 816-729-3785 or email him at eSellsKC at gmail.com. Proud sponsor of Anonymous. No, I'm sorry. Proud oh. sponsor of Chief Who. <laughs> winner, winner. <laughs> winner, winner. And then we'll talk next about my good friend, Mr. Dave Purdy with Edge Home Finance. Give Dave a call at 816-405-5831. If you're looking for someone who can also navigate you through the wicked, wicked turns of getting a mortgage, especially if you're self-employed, you need somebody who's an absolute S expert and can navigate you through the process. Dave's done that for my family. Give him a call at 816-405-5831. We love Dave because he is pretty pretty good. good. Go ahead, Dre. All right, now, Mr. Mango, correct. Congratulations, Mango, again, because we were stumped on this show. We were stumped, but good job, all right? Let's see here. Let's see here. Um, again, Namas Mango. Jimmy, what's going on, Jimmy? He he said, I agree with Andre. Keep Creed. I do. Yes, absolutely. Blake Bammers, what's going on, Blake Bammers? Let's see who we got up here. Let's keep scrolling. Um, what the what the what the the uh the chef's kiss? All right, shout out to the to the chef kiss because there's no name up there, sir. Boy, I appreciate <laughs> you. <laughs> That's his old name up there, sir. Let's see. Let's see. Guys, am I forgetting anybody, guys? Uh, we got Ken St. Clair out there. Um, King St. Clair. Okay. Uh, okay. Vince, of course. What's going on, Vince? What's going on? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, looks Claire. like this looks like that's the most of the of the crew. Um, you know, um, you know, we appreciate everybody today. We really had some technical difficulties. We apologize for that. A uh, drum bunkers also was out there at the very beginning of the show. Um, Bunker, kind of what up, letting, what up, letting us know that we were late. And we appreciate that because we were having, like I said, some technical issues. We had some technical issues to start the show, but you'd be able to stream it. Uh, should all the entire show hopefully should be up on the um, on the website and also. Can Caitlin on- Clark get us hooked up with Xfinity? Uh, I don't know who that she is. can help us with that. She's a cheese fan. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm Mango said it. I Go hope ahead, get her to follow. Get out. her to follow you on IG. What hence, what let's get Caitlin Clark involved. Okay. Oh, that's right. You're a UK guy. Well, you know, we'll have to see. Are you visiting the United States soon? Oh, man, um, if I can't get it to Utah, fail. I'm not as confident I can get it to UK. So we'll <laughs> see. We'll see. Just, oh, just send me send me your address and we'll figure something out. All right. Don't worry. 
We'll figure it out. Nah, so what do we? So what? Put in a, uh, let Nick. Which one you want? You want the cheap thing, or you want the Nick? You want the, the picture on my wall? Yeah, you pick. You pick a collectible. You picked the the uh, beautiful Ledger, rendition man. of Keith yeah. Ledger. I mean, yeah. I know how what I would vote for. Of, uh, um, <laughs> so it's all good. Keith was nah. Keith was an outstanding actor. A role of a lifetime. Definitely deserved this Academy Award. Left us way oh, too most soon. Definitely. Well, most of the kids it was him. He was amazing. But yeah, that 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 those sequences in that movie with him on there was just, and it's you know if you get a chance, look at the behind the scenes footage of that movie and some of the conversations that he had and some of the things that they did and some of the, I guess the characteristic things that he did while playing the part and adjusting and improvising, uh, it's pretty Dedicated. special. Dedicated, very special so man. that left us way too soon the dark night everybody knows the dark yes. night but again but we all know who the best joker is though before the show guys we they we said who who was the best joker guys who was the jack best? nicholson jack nicholson the og the of the joker the old jack nelson jack nelson Great. just stole it man but dominated that, that movie right yeah. yeah, yeah, he did. Made a lot of money in that movie. He got points. He got he negotiated points every time the script changed. He got more points and he got more money. And he made a killing off that movie. And so did Warner Brothers. And that reset the tone for, for the Batman franchise. Now, if we just get rid of Robert Pattinson, um, I think we're in good shape. Get yourself a good agent, guys. <laughs> yeah. Jack, bring, bring, Jack bring Ben Affleck back, please. Please, so Kareem please, says please. Jack by a mile. I mean, you look at it, Jack is the OG of the Joker, man. You you got to give him the Jack. Keith Ledger right up under the Jack. But Jack, if you watch that movie, he just outstanding. Wow. So, no. But that, again. Yeah, that was. <laughs> but again, both were amazing. He, they, yeah. uh, Minus Mingo put in there, he said, uh, Quez Tez has a top visit with the Kansas City Chiefs this week, cornerback. So if you don't know what yep. the guy is, go check him out. Watch his highlights. I think he'd be a good fit, also. He's he's one of the one of the top of my cornerbacks on the board. Mm -hmm. But it's TJ Temple. Remember, it's, it's Specs though. It's Specs. Yeah. Specs got the defense. As long as he's back there coaching that defense, y'all can put anybody, mm -hmm. any DB back there with him because he's gonna put them in the right yeah. position. Right. And yep. Blake said, um, uh, "Michael Kipton is the best Batman." Ah, uh, I, I mean, can't. he had the voice though. He had the voice and had the look. He did. He did. Mm -hmm. He did. Adam, I, agree. I agree. Adam West will always be my Batman. <laughs> oh, he was going to Adam West. Always man. be my Adam Batman. West. My entire childhood was was that was Just was that was, a test, Robin. Yeah, that man. Was I, just, uh, I have uh, the entire was... DVD. I have the entire DVD collection. Just so you know, holy macro Batman! I, look, I, I watch it all. I watch it. I have watched it consistently. But but Keaton was great. Uh, Christian Bale was he great. Was, uh, yeah, I think Michael Adam Keaton West. Had the, he just had to look for it. So to with that said, guys, we have the first mock draft. We're gonna do this Friday. Kareem, so, just for you, just get for you, ready. Kareem. Yo, Kareem, ready. get ready. The whole show is mocked get down. Ready. We be mocking it get all ready. Friday. Guys, not gonna talk ready. about nothing else but the first round of the mock draft. And if we do it successfully, maybe we'll do the second round of, uh on Monday. We'll see. We'll see how that all shakes out. So, guys, have a nice Wednesday. We'll be back. We be back without no technical difficulties. Hey, 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 we easy. Knock on wood. Yeah, don't, <laughs> don't, don't, easy. don't jinx it. Easy. We be back this fine, guys, on Friday at noon. So with that said, guys. Get your notes ready, guys, Friday. On the comments, all, right, all our good people, get hey, your notes hey, ready because we dive right it, into the it. first round. Message, uh, message Nick what you want to know or message me, Dre, or Lou. Uh, whatever you want to go, tag us on uh, uh, Facebook, Instagram, whatever you guys want to tag us on, and give oh, us definitely. those players that we probably we probably ain't gonna miss on. Give us your yeah. wide that she's gonna take there thirty two. Yeah, yeah, we want we, we want, want the fans to participate and pick thirty two. And uh, I will I will be off air that day, but I will I will gladly deliver my pick to the crew. And okay. uh, God, if he's if he's not there, too bad. Yeah. All right, guys. And guys, remember subscribe, hit that sub button too. Maybe yeah. You want to everybody tell your friends, family, your aunt, show auntie, us the your love. Uncle. Show us tell your love. Ex, show us the love. Pieces, man. Tell everybody, man, subscribe <laughs> to our channel, and you will get a giggle. Let's go, guys. All right, peace <laughs> out, everybody. Have a great day.